Okay, imagine this is you in the night. You try to browse a couple things that maybe make your interest. And first, like, mm, you opening some website that perhaps you don't want anyone else to know. Cool, no one sees, so I will browse another thing. And then something happened. Yes. Holy shit! Did you just come in your sister? You are suddenly naked cult. So, what's going on? How do they know what I browse? How to um, avoid these things? How the internet works? Maybe this question come to you. Okay, so welcome to the channel of Mother and Stan. We are going to discuss how the internet works, what is internet, and how come people know what we are browsing. Cool. So, let's start on a couple of the topic that we're gonna discuss today. First, we will start from the device. We are talking about what things uh, that you used to have when you accessing internet. That's the first thing. The second thing is what you can do with the internet. Is it possible to order some food? Yeah, but is it possible to get the food through the internet directly in front of your screen? Hmm. And then what's the type of the file of the internet? Is it like uh, like normal file or something different? And then we continue with couple jargon in the internet which is IP, what's that? DNS and router, is it something that's quite common in your ears? Well, do not be worried, let's go. Start from the devices. Okay, the internet is basically a huge network that connecting one computer to the others. You can use phone, you can use laptop, you can use anything around you that have connections to the internet. But basically, yes, internet is about cable. We are just look fancy at nowadays using Wi-Fi, but actually this is cable. So what we can do with the internet? Okay, uh, internet basically can transfer file, we can see picture, we can see video, we can listen music, transfer it to the other. But, well, you never get hamburger sent by the printer and you eat it. Well, you could order hamburger and it will come the other way, but it will never come to the internet. The third one, the file. So, to give you a little bit easy way to imagine what is the internet the file here is like internet always uh, consists of binary file which is zero and one and everything connected to it so let's say like we want to send some uh, email let's say the name is booty the first person living in indonesia uh, having an uh, internet service provider. So internet is a cable that connect to each other and internet service provider named in the home. Buddy sent email called Gmail and he want to send to Michael which is ha uh, which have um, Yahoo. Cool. And then he opened, he going from his computer to the Gmail, from the Gmail sent to the server of Yahoo and the, the, cell, the email is sent okay, through the internet definitely all the cable connected and so on to the server of Yahoo and then the next day uh, Michael from United States England anywhere with different internet service provider in the morning he's opening some email with his son and going through his internet service provider at this moment let's say very soon okay so he's opening his email through yahoo and he's opening the file itself which is it looks like a letter but actually it consists of code that called binary zero and one but then zero and one is also developed into many different things that if you're not careful you can lose all your money on the internet and you can be jail also because doing something illegal internet all just from zero and one file okay now the IP what is IP so as I uh, shared before internet is consists of all computer that connect in the network and like um, network everything should have address and IP is the name from internet protocol which is means like the address that you have if you have Wi-Fi if you have your local router usually then the number become very not Unix like 192 16800 but then every device will have unique number 
however like well uh, you met your friend in different home and well they have also 192 168 why everyone have the same because they are in the local network so it's not connected to the big network and then the ISP or internet service provider that connect with the public network they have their own unique uh, IP and this is why then every server that you access will have different IP let's say Facebook you have facebook.com facebook.com have their own IP and the IP is different with the others so then what is DNS let's say like this IP is consists of couple of digit usually 12 digit uh, yeah uh, Google IP for example it's only 8888 hmm, it's easy I can just go to 888 type in my computer and I will get Google easy peasy right but then imagine if you open Facebook what is the IP of Facebook let's think IP of Facebook is 69 blah 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 can you imagine that if you are on the way you want to open Facebook quick you have to remember all this 169 and so on no way so that's how the NS work and what is router router is like this um, the file that you send in the internet is consists of couple of parts it's like uh, when you send it's they are segregated into many different pieces sent through the internet to the cable and so on because they cannot send for example 2 giga in one second no they have to send in couple of megabyte in couple of second or even terabyte and couple seconds is not possible okay so when the other uh, part of the world receive your file they will assemble it and it's using router if you are wondering how many routers going through you if you open facebook.com try to tap trace root on your Mac or your computer and you will see how many actually router that passing you by okay hmm so the interesting question then like how then people can know what I browse okay let's see this picture maybe it will help you uh, we talk about router right router here as you could see it's I uh, picture it with something with X symbol there there is router I router B and this is you this is your dad your dad having router B and you using Wi-Fi at your home with router A and then you try to browse something with your phone hmm I want to uh, browse some website that you do not want everyone know what you browse so you're going to your computer you're opening some domain that you don't want everyone know okay you're accessing it and then the file from the server will comes to your phone cool and you are happy then you think you are secure and safe unfortunately you are accessing through the same internet service provider and router that your parents also use so there are a common router where everyone going through by or the worst is even there are internet service provider and there will be thousands of users so the question is if you going to the same gate and in the gate there are some recorder that recording everything that you do and then someone can access what's the file instead of the recording the question is do the other know then what you browse and the answer is yes so that's answering the question why other can see what you browse so yeah hopefully it's answer your question on how the internet works and how other can see what you browsing hopefully it's help you and answering your question on it cool if you think this uh, explanation helpful please consider to subscribe to always see what the next video will be so once again thank you for watching and peace be safe